Well, in this video, we're going to have our first day of harvest here. So last night, we finished setting the combine and did a couple rounds here, just to help get everything set more, picked a load of beans. Uh, so you know like every morning when you walk outside and you see your grass is all wet, that's what dew is. So beans, overnight when you get dew, they absorb it into the plant in the pod. So these little pods that beans are in, normally they should be able to crack right open. When they get dewy, they don't crack open. They just kind of roll open. They don't crack like they should. And the stem, you're able to bend it back and forth. When they're dry, you should just be able to do that, and it should snap right off. So I have to wait for them to be able to the pods will crack right open and the stems will snap off before we're able to go otherwise our bean head won't be able to cut these stems because they'll be too stiff and won't be able to break the pods open and get the beads out so i'm going to do a couple things here this morning and keep on watching the beans and wait until they're ready to go and when they're ready we'll come out here with the combine and start going so Got the auger set up here, and last night the load of beans we did we put in the wagon, so we're going to unload that and make sure that the auger is centered in the bin right and the beans are going in the bin even. Well, there goes Dad. He's going to head out to the field and fry some beans to make sure that the pods are dry enough and just make sure the stalks are dry enough. I'll I unload this load and then I'll come out and meet him. Oh. Well, I just hopped in the combine for a little bit, but back in the tractor here now. Right when I got out, tested some beans, and they're testing 11%. And last night they were coming out of the field at 9.5%. And you normally want beans at around 12% or so. So beans, since they take on moisture overnight, the, pot, the beans themselves can actually take on some moisture. Uh, so in the morning they'll be a little bit higher. And then by the end of the day today, they'll be back down to probably 9% or so.
threshing them and then you have a poor job uh, going in the field and it clogs the machine up really easily. Well, we're quitting for the night here. Had about half a load left in the combine after we got done. Uh, we decided to quit just because we were getting into a lot of green uh, beans. And the sun was starting to go down and the sun goes down. Kind of had to quit with beans because then they start getting tough from dew setting in. So I'm dumping this right now. And Dad's back here at the combine. He's filling it up with fuel and he's going to blow out the air filters and he's going to work on greasing it. Uh, yeah. So tonight, just going to finish stuff up after today. I think we did about six loads or so today. I'm going to guess we maybe did 15, 20 acres or so today out of our 50 something acres we have for beans up here. Uh, tomorrow is Monday, 
We might do some pickings in. We don't know for sure. Uh, since the combine's ready, just as long as there's some beans out there ready. But we're thinking if we can work on beans a little bit throughout the week this each night. Uh, next weekend we should be able to finish beans. Then we can switch over to corn or something maybe. Hard to say. As long as the people that we don't share the heads with don't need them. Otherwise that might put us in a bind. But if they need them, they need them. Oh well. Uh, just get as much done as we can and 